Raging waters due to severe storms that have hit Delaware City is one of many fears for residents here in town because of a major revolving issue, and that's flooding. It's our number one challenge uh, in Delaware City, but over the years it's, it's gradually uh, gotten worse. Over the last two years, Hurricane Irene and Sandy proved to be a real problem for the city, causing evacuations for the first time in history. Cathcart tells us the city has been divided into four quadrants where the level of flooding varies. One section is near Washington Street. We're now developing what the mitigation action should be for those areas that we, we kind of identify. Um, and then a natural follow-up to that, was, which is a, a grant that we just recently re received a couple weeks ago. It's a coastal management grant. But unfortunately, the solutions to fix at least two problem areas are estimated at $1.2 million. And that's too costly for the 1,700 residents living there because when it comes to burdening residents with cost to control flooding, that isn't an option. We don't believe it's our responsibility. Um, so we look at De Del Dot, who has part of the responsibility as it relates to the roads, uh, and then we look to, Del to, to Denrac for the other issues. And, you know, it's kind of one of these numbers. They point at each other and say that's their responsibility. Heading north on Route 9 and into Wilmington's South Bridge neighborhood, where flooding is considered a geographical problem, residents there were evacuated because of Hurricane Sandy as well, a major concern for disabled veteran Jackson Grimes. The area we live in is listed as a 100-year floodplain, but due to the raising of South Market Street and due to the increased frequent frequency and severity of storms. What used to be a hundred year floodplain is becoming an annual floodplain. That frequent flooding has temporarily shut down services at One Village Alliance, a nonprofit organization that offers the community a number of much needed resources to help people like Jackson. It seems that this is a specifically low area of South Wilmington and it's impossible to even get through the intersection to get here or to pass through the intersection to get out. And many times, all three access points that would lead you to our building are all flooded. Meanwhile, both Jackson and Chandra often meet with the South Wilmington Planning Network to address flooding issues. So far, there have been a lot of different ideas regarding the low-lying portion of the city where pools of water come from the Christina River, but there's still no resolution. Just want um, city officials and community officials in the neighborhood to really um, use their voice, use their positions, and use the opportunities that they have to make a change in the community and act with a level of urgency.